Hello YouTubers, this is Shen. If you own a phone from a mobile carrier, then most likely you've noticed that it came pre-installed with some of their apps, wallpapers and the building animation which you can't easily uninstall. Additionally, all updates to the device have to be approved by the carrier so you end up getting them much later than the official ones. In this video I'll show you how to install clean firmware to your Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and remove the bloatware. Before you begin the procedure, make sure that you make a backup of all files on the device. If you want to save your applications and app data, you can use a paid app called Helium Backup Pro that offers backups of app data without the need of root. So to begin with, you need to download the clean firmware that corresponds to the model number of your phone. Galaxy Note 4 comes in two variants, the N910C with Exynos and the N910F with Snapdragon. Make sure that you download the correct version. You can find firmwares for various regions on some mobile website. I placed a link in the video description as well. The firmware will be compressed, so unpack it somewhere you can easily find. Next, download the Odin software from one of the links available in the video description. Now unpack the file and install Odin on your PC. Make sure that your phone is charged at least 60% to prevent problems. Now we need to switch off the smartphone and then turn it on using the volume up, home and power button combination to enter recovery. Using the volume keys navigate to wipe data and confirm it with the power button. This will erase all data on your device, so once again make sure you have a backup. Next, select to wipe cache. Now in Odin on your PC go to the AP field and find the directory with the downloaded firmware in tar.md5 format for your Galaxy Note 4. The MD5 verification will take a few minutes, so be patient and wait for the checking MD5 finish successfully status. Now we need to enter the download mode by using the volume down plus power plus home combination. We then click the volume up button to confirm that we want to transfer new files and connect the device via the USB cable to the computer. Now we click on the start button in Odin to begin the firmware installation on Galaxy Note 4. This process can take up to half an hour so be patient. Once you see the pass status you can disconnect the device. The phone will reboot a few times but don't worry as this is perfectly normal. Now your Galaxy Note 4 has clean software with no carrier branding. I'm not a developer and I have not devised this method. It was posted on one of the published forums. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and successfully completed the procedure. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. See you soon.